Hey guys, in today's video, we're gonna talk about one of my favorite accessories for my big green egg. That's right, we're talking about the fire bowl. So let's dig in, let's talk about the fire bowl, and then we're gonna show you what it looks like, how it works on my big green egg. Now, as you can see here, I have the extra large fire bowl, which is great for my XL egg. Now, don't worry because we also have a large fire bowl too, as you can see right here, and that'll work fantastic for your large egg. Now, the difference between the large and extra large fire bowl is the XL has that divider in it. But I'll tell you what, let's get this out of the box, show you the absolute features, benefits, and advantages to using this fire bowl in your egg. All right, we went ahead, took it out of the package, got it all unwrapped, we are ready to go. Look at this, this is so cool. This is your fire bowl, and the nice thing is, look at all the holes in here. You're gonna get great airflow, uh, making great heat, giving you great control of your grill, and the best part, literally the best part, when we're done, we get to take this out, when it's cooled, shake all the ash off our charcoal and start over. Obviously, we're gonna show you that outside, but a couple things we have to do. Like I said, the difference between the large fire bowl and the extra large fire bowl is the extra large fire bowl comes with a divider, which is great, right? Put this divider in here and now I have the ability to light half. So maybe I'm cooking for a smaller crowd and I don't wanna fill it up with charcoal on my XL. Now I can cook half, makes me more efficient too. Let's show you how we install the parts that are gonna hold that divider because we have a little bit of installation to do so. Come close, we'll show you how we do that. Okay, each fire bowl comes with a little packet and in there are gonna be two retainers and the uh, instructions. Yeah, get rid of the instructions. Let's show you how we do it. So first thing we're gonna do here is we're gonna take this retainer. You can see it's got a little uh, bolt on the bottom or a little screw head on the bottom. We're gonna go ahead and put that in there. We're gonna make sure it holds up. Now this is going to fill in this space here. So we'll flip this guy over now and show you how we do that here. All right, can you see that? So what we're gonna do is put that in this spot, put that right there, make sure that little clip is in the hole. We are good to go. And we're gonna put the wing nut on and tighten it down like that. Super easy. You can see we have both of them done. Now let's put it back on the table, carefully, carefully. We'll flip our handles out and check this out. Now that divider sits right in there and it's not gonna move. That is super helpful. Okay, important to remember, when you use the fire bowl, it is designed to replace your fire grate. You'll notice the holes in the fire bowl, the stainless steel fire bowl, are the same as the grate, giving you, uh, like I said, better control, airflow, all that good stuff. So, we'll go in here carefully, and not to uh, rip off our pinky, and we'll get that fire grate out. Oh, oh, look at that, also time to clean my grill. Perfect time, uh, as a reminder, to uh, clean your grill, too. Okay, now with that fire grate out, we're gonna go ahead and put in the fire bowl. So I have it kind of set like that. I put the handles to the side. And as you can see, I have my brackets in, but I don't have my divider in yet. I will put the divider in, right? Like I said, if I'm cooking for a smaller group, right? Perfect, I can light half of the egg now when I'm cooking for my family, or I can light all of it when I'm cooking for a crowd. Okay, now that we're done cooking and we've left this rest overnight, we know everything is cool. Guess what? This is the best part of the fire bowl. Now we get to come in here, pick up the handles, check this out, give it a shake. Look at that. Say goodbye to all of your ash. Now making it so much easier for cleaning. Goes right down into the ash pit. Everything is good to go. I can set the fire bowl back in there, move the handles, and now the cool part is go through here, refresh, relight, and get to cooking. Talk about super easy and helpful. This is absolutely one of my favorite accessories because gone are the days of stirring the ash. Now I can just pick that basket up, give it a shake, and we are good to go. Now, if you're looking for another amazing accessory, be sure to check out my plancha video. That's coming up next because, hey, what is a plancha and why do you need one? 